Hello friends, my name is Arwen. Welcome to online programming from Durham County Library. Now, normally when you join me for these videos, I like to do science experiments. They're a lot of fun and I don't know a lot about science so I get to learn things. Well, Today, we're not really doing an experiment, but we are gonna talk about something science-ish. I mean, it really is science though because it deals with biology, chemistry, kind of botany, not really, but you get the idea. We're going to talk about things that science has found out for us. And we're going to answer an age-old question that I have always had. Why do I have to eat my vegetables? Why are they good for me? Because I'm sure you've heard your whole life that you can remember, you need to eat your vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. Well, okay, but how are they good for me? Well, obviously I had to do some research because you know me, science is not my strong suit. And I decided to start with just taking a meal that I was gonna make and breaking it down and seeing how it was good for me. And I based my meal on the concept of eating a rainbow. Maybe you've heard this. Now, we're not gonna pull a rainbow out of the sky and eat it. That wouldn't be very filling because Rainbows are made of light, so no. We're going to eat a rainbow in the sense that we're going to use lots of different colors in our meal, my meal. You could make it at home as well, but you can't eat the one I'm making because I'm gonna eat it for dinner. So when you're gonna eat a rainbow, you wanna get things with lots of different colors. And we're going to go through all the different fruits and vegetables that I got and the different colors that they are and why they are good for you. So the first vegetable I got was kind of cheating. So I was going to get radishes for my red vegetable, but there have been lots of radishes at the farmer's market lately, and so I've eaten so many radishes, and I didn't want to eat any more radishes. So I got rainbow shard. And as you can see, rainbow shard has red stems. You can also get um, rainbow shard that has yellow stems and I think white stems and green stems as well. But I just got a bunch that had the red stems. So this is going to be our red for a rainbow, our red shard stems. And I'm also cheating because the shard is also going to be the green thing. But for our purposes now, this is the red. And what is in rainbow shard? Well, I found out that it's a very good source of vitamin E. Erwin, you say, that means nothing to me. What's vitamin E? Who cares? Well, vitamin E is what helps our immune system, which is all the things in your body that work together to keep you from being sick. Vitamin E also helps your skin and your eyes be really healthy. So clearly vitamin E is pretty important. So, if you can remember, the rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So we've done red. Next we're doing orange. For orange, I got an orange bell pepper. Bell peppers, as you may know, come in lots of different colors. They can be yellow, they can be orange, they can be red, they can be green. But I got an orange one because I needed something for orange. What's neat about orange is that if something is orange, well, a fruit or a vegetable, anything plant-ish, it means it has beta carotene in it. And beta carotene is a pigment. We'll go into pigments another time. Basically, it is a color that signifies that this vegetable is full of vitamin A. Well, you say, uh, I didn't know about vitamin E. Tell me about vitamin A. Vitamin A is good for your teeth and your skin again and your bones. And we want to take good care of our bones because our skeletons kind of hold us together. Or do the muscles hold us together? Another thing that a lot of orange fruits and vegetables have is vitamin C. And vitamin C is really important because it helps you heal. So like if you cut your finger or if you stumble and you twist your ankle, vitamin C is one of the things that helps your body get everything back into shape. So now we have orange, we have red and orange, now yellow. So 
I don't know if any of you like beets. I love beets and beets are often red. But when you cook with red beets, you get beet juice everywhere and beet juice stains your fingers and your cutting board and everything. So I thought I need to do something yellow and I love beets. So I got a golden beet. And let me peel it a little for you so you can see how bright yellow it is on the inside. So that's a golden beet. It tastes just like a normal beet, in my opinion. And what is so great about golden beets? What is in golden beets that's good for us? Well, they have a vitamin called B6. And B6, now this is crazy, B6 is good for your brain. It helps your brain work. And our brains help the rest of our bodies work. Our brains help everything work. So clearly, golden beets with their B6, very good to eat. Now, we're on to green. And as I said, I chose the rainbow shard for my red and my green, kind of cheating. But let's talk about green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables are things like lettuce, arugula, um, cabbage, kale, collard greens, anything that looks like a leaf and is green is a green leafy vegetable. So shard is clearly a green leafy vegetable. And you know what's in green leafy vegetables? Something very important. And I keep saying things are important, but that's because there are so many important things in these vegetables we're eating. Green leafy vegetables have iron in them. Wait. Iron is a metal. Why do I want iron? Iron keeps your blood healthy. And let me tell you what, if your blood's not healthy, you're not going to be in a great place. You're going to be tired all the time. So you need to eat green leafy vegetables to keep your blood healthy so you can have lots of energy. Now, for our last three colors, blue, indigo, violet, uh, I was going to get some blueberries, but... I don't want to put blueberries in the dish I'm making, so I didn't get any blueberries. And indigo and violet are kind of both purple, so I got an eggplant, which, as you can kind of see, is purple. It may look darker than that. It's, it's what the French would call aubergine, which is the French word for eggplant and often is used um, to mean purple. So an eggplant, eggplant, and this is what I learned is a fruit. This is not a vegetable. What? That looks like a vegetable to me. That's like how a tomato is a fruit, and we all think tomatoes are a vegetable. Well, eggplant is a fruit as well. What is in eggplants that makes them good for us, other than them being very tasty? I like to roast them. Well, eggplants are chock-a-block full of vitamin K, and vitamin K, wait for it, helps your bones grow. It doesn't just keep them healthy, it helps them grow. So since you are probably all a bit younger than I am and are still growing, I would suggest you eat lots of eggplant and other things with vitamin K to help your bones grow. So there we have it. We have all the ingredients for our meal. But what are we going to do with all these vegetables? We're not just going to eat them as is. I'm not. I mean... Some people might, but I'm not going to. So, bear with me. We're going to prepare this meal. And if you want to do this at home, you're going to need a grown-up because I'm going to be using a knife and the stove. All right. Let's prepare. Bear with me. prepared all our vegetables to make a delicious stir fry and um as you notice I have them separated because when you're cooking you want to add leafy greens last because they cook faster but look at this beautiful rainbow of things that we have in here we have eggplant that has escaped our bell peppers our golden beets and the red parts of the swiss shard now we're gonna cook them 
Okay, so now we're going to cook our vegetables. And remember, this is a part that you need a grown-up to help you out with because we have a pan here that's on the really hot stove. And in my pan, I put a little bit of oil because that'll keep the vegetables from sticking to the pan. So now we're going to put in all the vegetables except for the green leafy ones. Do, 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 because these are denser. It'll take them longer to cook. And so I'm going to put them all in there and do, 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 put a little bit of salt on them because you know what? Salt makes everything so tasty, but not too much salt. All right, so there our vegetables are in the pan and we're going to let them cook for a little while. Okay, look at those vegetables. They look so pretty. And now, since all the stuff that's in there is kind of soft, we're going to add the greens because the greens cook so fast. All right. Oh, look at that beautiful rainbow. Let it cook a little bit longer, and then we'll see what a rainbow of a meal we have. Okay, friends, so we've cooked a rainbow. It's not as bright once you've cooked it, but you can still see lots of different colors in there. So do you remember uh, what we're eating and why it's good for us? Well, we have the rainbow shard. <laughs> and get some out. That has vitamin E, which is good for your immune system. So this is going to help me stay healthy. Mm, 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 mm. Then we have a piece of the orange bell pepper, which turns kind of yellow when you cook it, but still looks really tasty, right? And that has beta carotene, which signals to us it has vitamin A, which is good for my teeth, my skin, and has vitamin C. So it'll help me get better if I get hurt. Mmm. Golden beet. Do you remember what the golden beet has in it? It has B6. And that helps my brain stay healthy. And I can definitely use something that helps my brain stay healthy. So I should eat lots of golden beets. <laughs> that was a big piece. <laughs> Next, I have some of the green part of the shard. And it looks kind of gross, huh? But guess what? It's delicious. And it has iron in it. Keep my blood healthy and me very strong. Mm. And last, we have eggplant. An eggplant, okay, that also looks kind of weird once you cook it, but I promise it tastes so good. An eggplant has vitamin K in it. Do you remember what the vitamin K does? Oh, wait. That's right, it helps your bones grow. So that's especially important for someone your age, I think, to eat lots of vitamin K so it can help your bones grow. Well, what do you think? Did we answer the question of why are vegetables good for us? We know some of the vegetables. And we know that some vegetable categories, like the leafy greens or anything that's orange, that's going to be good for us in specific ways. So maybe next time you help make dinner, because I'm sure you help make dinner, right? You could try to help your grown-up who makes the dinner make a rainbow and uh, enjoy. And I hope that you have bones that are growing healthily, brains that are doing well, strong immune systems, and can heal quickly thanks to vitamin C. Have a great evening or day or morning, <laughs> and I will see you in the future.